All right, here with head cross country coach Jamie Harris. Coach, kind of just wanted to preview the regionals this week. Uh, how's training been going? What does it look like for you and your team this week? Who is traveling? Just uh, what does this week and yeah. travel and the competition look like for you? Yeah, um, training's pretty t toned down, really. Um, you know, we had our conference championships and. Uh, you know, we that takes several days to recover from physically, mentally, and emotionally. And then uh, with the regionals coming up, we don't want to do too much and get tired. Um, so, uh, you know, it was more of a keep the ball rolling, maintenance kind of training. Um, <clears throat> although even in that, uh, our men's team we had some we had, we had a 3,200 time trial on Saturday for some of the guys that are you know their their cross country season's over and they're starting to turn their attention to short track and field and. Um, that was as part of the workout for the ones that are going to regionals and even some of them ran some PRs sort of by accident. Um, so that was that was encouraging, you know, it's a good sign about our fitness that I think we already knew. Um, but I think that it may have helped with some confidence for some people. And uh, so now, you know, we, we uh, go forward. I, I feel like both teams are in sort of a nothing to lose situation. Um, you know, uh, I think uh, the men's team, both teams can be happy with what they've accomplished so far this season. If, if we get a little bit more this weekend, then we'll take it. And uh, if we don't, we'll, we'll uh, you know, still be satisfied with, with what we've done um, done this year. So, so um, you're, sorry. To yeah, that's all right. On the women's side, um, we're taking four women, not a complete team. Um, uh, Kate, uh, Kate Pringle, Mariska, Kessler, uh, Alexei Amador, and Jess Hilrodic. Um, so those four are going to compete for various different reasons. They needed or wanted one more race this season, um, and uh, so you know we'll we'll try to get one one more good uh, good result. Um, some of them are just working on you know working on some things strategy wise. Some of them are in great shape and you know looking to PR um, or uh, you know improve on their performance from last year regionals. So um, earlier this year, you guys ran in Monmouth, <coughs> yep. Oregon. Is this the same course, and how does that look? If so, familiar familiarity wise, you know, running on that same course, or is it different? Yeah, um, it, it is the same course and it isn't the same course. So uh, that I, I actually. Uh, kind of laughed about this with their AD when we were up there, you know, um, earlier this year. And she said, you know, this is this is really two courses. You know, um, in the in September, it's dry, it's really firm, um, and a little dusty, <laughs> even though it's all grass. But just because it hadn't rained for a while, um, and we'll go back there, and you know, it's going to rain uh, every day. I think starting tomorrow <laughs> until until. Uh, maybe March, but, um, it, you know, it's going to be wet. It's going to be soggy in places. It might be muddy. Um, so yeah, it'll be the same course, but it'll also be sort of a different course. It'll run very differently. Gotcha. Would you say that rain kind of plays your guys' advantage maybe being more familiar with it? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we, uh, we run on the grass at Arcata sports complex a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, even when it hasn't rained for a long time, it can be soggy, especially around the edges where we're running. Um, so, uh, you know, we sure, certainly should be accustomed to the surface. Um, uh, you know, it'll be warmer on race day than it was when we were out there this morning. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we should be comfortable with the conditions, certainly, yeah. And, 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 oh, and probably more comfortable with the conditions than some of the other teams. All right. And what's coaching both players that are going to be continuing to compete and then ones who see this? Maybe they're focused more on track and field. What's that like for you? Yeah, that's a, a little challenging, you know, because there's certainly a, a feeling of being left out. I think from from some of the the ones whose you know seasons are over, and we, you know, we we try to combat that, you know, partly with like the time trial that we do on Saturday, so they had an opportunity to you know kind of get a, another measure of their fitness, something different, kind of um, to help to kind of turn their attention and their their um, their excitement toward you know other races that are coming up. Um, rather than kind of looking, looking at what they're missing out on. Um, and then, uh, you know, try to keep uh, the team focused that's going to a championship 
um, while everybody else is more in like, hey, you know, season's over, you know, we can relax and enjoy Halloween kind of mode. Uh, I do have one question. So, obviously, the conference championships kind of determined who is going to partake in the regionals. Uh, correct or no? Not at all. Not at all. Yeah. So that's a weird uh, anomaly oh, I'm about sorry, this I'm sport. Thinking Santa, Santa. Uh, was that Santa Clara going into the conference championships? That oh, right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. personnel wise for us. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So yeah. that's what I was referring to. Sorry yeah, about that. Yeah. So then going into the regionals, um, yeah. And this race, how they do this weekend, does that determine then who goes to nationals or what does the qualifying for nationals look like? Right. So, um, yeah, definitely within, within our team, performances at the conference meet, you know, directly relate to who's, who's competing at, um, at the regionals. We have. We, we have one guy who may or may not race, um, and we'll see, but we're, we're taking two alternates just in case. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so qualifying for the national championships uh, is uh, simple to start. The, the top three teams um, qualify from each region. Um, after that, it gets real complicated. Um, it's, uh, it's a matter of uh, teams that you've beat, beaten throughout the season. Um, I think that's called a primary win if you beat them head to head. A secondary win would be if you beat a team that beat another team. Um, and so this is the reason why we travel outside the region and compete with other teams in other regions is because we can beat teams that beat other teams or you know beat teams directly that that uh, may have an impact on who's earning at large births. Um, yeah, it, it's too complicated to even try to (laughs) explain in a press conference but um but basically that's kind of the 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 basic gist of it um and so uh you know depending on how high teams place at their regionals um they're then considered for uh, at large purse um so typically our our region is really strong and so uh you know most years we'll get one to one to five, I think, is the most I've seen um, at large births. Um, gotcha. But we'll see. There, there's a total of ten um, throughout the country at large births. So. And then my um, last, sorry. But, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, my last question is: Is this D1, D2, D3 where they all race separate, or are they all together, similar to how some other meets have been ran this year? Yeah, right. So this is just D2 in the regional. Okay. Um, and and how then, many teams are there? Roughly teams that show up yeah I mean it, yeah. it, it usually it's uh, between 25 and 35 um, I think I don't know there's maybe 30 to 36 32 to 36 teams in the region depending on men's or women's um, it's basically three conferences Pac West uh, GNAC and us and then um, uh, you know some schools don't don't send teams we're not sending a full women's team um, it's, it's not required um, but you are also not required to qualify, except by participating in four four competitions throughout the regular season. So, um, gotcha. it's a it, it's a little bit of a bone of contention because I've been part of a, a move from the coaches association to try to um, try to change some of these things. All right, I'm all good. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Thanks coach. Good luck this weekend. Thanks.